Hey, it's Kelly with RV Wholesalers. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough video on a Rockwood Mini Light. This is the 2506S model. Uh, you're going to see it's a pretty cool floor plan. It has a front kitchen. Um, it's also going to have a, a rear bed with a nice slide out. So some nice features, pretty unique layout. Um, you can see here all power awning, LED lights. Um, it has the two outside speakers. Also, it's going to give you a little outside kitchen here with a little mini fridge. Um, it has a cooktop here as well. Um, you can see that has a spot for a barbecue, nice bracket on the outside so you can bring a TV, fits right on the same bracket on the outside of the coach if you want to watch the game or the race, what have you, um, hookups here, you're good to go, um, all set. And again, this one is in the, the colored tan outside, um, gives it a little extra look there. Also, this is going to be exhaust for the furnace, has a quick connect LP line on the, the bottom side there so you can hook, run it right up to your barbecue. Aluminum wheels, has the nice solid steps here, you can see that. Um, which are very, very nice. They're also lightweight. You can lift up on them very easily. So if you have a bad back, you're a little bit older, you can lift those up very easily. Uh, power jacks, front and rear, so you can see that, the jack button for there. And there's one on the back side. They both go down at the same time. It also has a spot for a um, little portable solar panel if you want to set one in the grass beside the campsite. Um, to trickle charge the battery, what have you, it does give you that option as well. Um, it is equipped with the Wi-Fi Ranger, so if you go to a campground, they have Wi-Fi. It's kind of kind of boosts the signal there. Um, nice automotive window up front, very nice sleek look. Um, two propane bottles will come with it. Um, it does have a box built for two batteries. We'll put one on here at the dealership when we go through the unit to test everything before um, any of our customers come pick it up, so it'll be ready for you. Outside shower here, so you can see that, and that is gonna be hot and cold. You gotta spray the kids' feet off, get sand on them, the dog, what have you. Um, that is equipped for you as well. You're gonna see it has a sewer hookup there, which I'm gonna go around here to the back side. This one does have two connections, uh, magnetic storage latches, so you can see that. You don't have to worry about the little clips that come off, then you end up busting those, so that'll give you some availability there as well. Um, right down here, you're gonna see it has a sewer connection. Those valves are pulled out right now. Um, you'll push them in to close them, pull them out to open them. The gray handles are going to be your sinks in your shower, inch and a half pipe. And then the black handle is going to be your toilet. Um, so obviously when you hook up the sewer connection, you're going to hook up the sewer hose, run the other end of the hole. You're always going to want to pull your black valve first, let that run through. And then what you're going to want to do is while that valve's out, you're going to want to hook up your black tank flush and that's going to spray inside the tank and i'll show you where that is um, on the other side here and then after you've let that spray through that's going to clean off the sensors shut that water off shut that black valve then you're going to pull your gray valve let that finish rinsing out your sewer hose right here it comes with a 30 amp power cord um, that's going to be a 30 amp service there so right here's the black tank flush i was telling you about so when that black valve's open after it's ran through, you're gonna hook the water hose up to this, and then what that's gonna do is it's gonna actually spray inside the tank. So it's gonna clean off the sensors inside the tank for you, uh, make sure everything's kinda cleaned off. Full size spare, it is prepped for a backup camera as well, so you can see that Furion backup camera comes in three different sizes, put in your tow vehicle so you can see behind you. It's also gonna come with a two inch receiver on the back. A lot of people will use a, a bike rack, put that on there versus hanging it on the ladder then it's pulling out of your fiberglass. Uh, very, very nice feature there. Also, you, some people just wanna do a rack for an extra cooler or firewood, what have you. Um, you have that available to you as well. Storage here, that's a nice big pull out tray. You can see that comes all the way out. You can see that, very, very nice. That'll latch in for you as well. Now over here, you're going to have a couple different connections. So cable and satellites, if they have hookup at the site, you can see that cable and satellite hookup here. This is going to be your city water connection, fresh water fill, and this is going to be your antifreeze inlet. Okay. So what this means to you is if you're going camping, they don't have water hookup at the site. What you're going to do is you're going to fill your fresh water tank, which is an onboard tank. And then what that's going to do is you'll use your 12 volt pump to pull, pump, pull water out of the tank to pressurize the taps, toilet, things like that, shower. Now, if for whatever reason they don't have water hookup at all at the campground, no filling station, what have you, you can fill that up at home and then take it with you. 
Now this one is gonna be the city water connection. So this is gonna be if they have water hook up right at your site. So then you're not gonna use this. You're gonna just hook the water hose into this. And then what you're gonna do is that's already, just make sure you use a water pressure regulator to re reduce the PSI and then you're good to go. This here is gonna be the antifreeze inlet. So you can just use a little short piece of hose, put it in a jug of antifreeze, turn the pump on, and then that'll go ahead and pump antifreeze through the lines. Water heater here. This is gonna be a gas and electric DSI. So direct spark ignition means you just flip a switch and it fires up. Now you're also gonna have the electric switch, which is gonna be right down here. And then the, have the switches on the inside of the coach as well. All right, we can go over here and we'll check out the inside of this unit. You're gonna be amazed by how much room is inside this coach. Very, very lightweight as well. So you can pull it with an SUV, um, half ton pickup for sure. This one's gonna be just under 5,300 pounds as it sits. And again, this is in a mini light series, all solid surface countertops, flush mount range cover, very, very nice there. You can see that glass mount gives you more storage. Um, first thing you're gonna wanna do though, when you get inside the coach, you wanna come here to your um, cooktop, turn all three burners on, obviously after you've turned both your propane tanks on, you're gonna fire those up, let those burn for about 20 seconds. What that's gonna do is it's gonna get all the air pockets out of the lines, make sure everything's firing properly for you, okay? And you can see, again, pull this up, look outside that window, just like at home, you're gonna have Double basin, 50-50, stainless steel sink. So no plastic sinks in here. Very, very nice residential um, look there. Big U-shaped dinette. I mean, this is gonna be almost seven feet across. And then this will pull down and make into a bed as well. So it'll sit right on these rails, pull the back cushions out. That'll make into a bed as well for you. Also, if you're sitting over there in that corner, you wanna rest your leg up. It's kind of right across from the TV, fireplace. It also has the refrigerator over here. You can see that in the nice raised panel look there. Um, that will fireplace will produce some BTUs, um, or if you want to have it on just for looks, you can do that as well. Has the nice fan up here. You can see there in the bathroom, foot flush toilet, glass shower door. Very, very nice. And then right before you go into the bathroom, you're going to see the thermostat. So it does have ducted AC. So the air is ducted through the ceiling. Heat is going to be ducted around the floor. Okay, so that's gonna work just like at home. You set the temperature, you're good to go. So back here in the back, in the bedroom, you can see a very, very cool, full walk around bed. You can get around both sides of the bed. It almost looks like this bed slid out just the way it's set up in here. Very, very nice. Shelf on both sides, you can see that. Outlets on both sides. Has spot for alarm clocks, cell phones, CPAP machines, what have you. Um, also is gonna have two windows in the bedroom, so it gives a nice ventilation in here. Also has a hard pocket door, so no accordion door. You're gonna see that there as well. Again, all LED lighting throughout the coach. Um, and again, rock wood, all hardwood cabinets, aluminum framing, foam block insulation, fiberglass outsides, very, very nice features. Um, just love, people step into a rock wood, just fall in love right away. Very nice features, um, added storage everywhere. You're gonna see right inside the door here, the button for the slide out, the awnings, what have you. But again, thanks for tuning in today. If you have any questions, give us a call, 877-877-4494. Thanks a lot.